With Amanda Rando away, uh, Trot's TV, uh, the CEO's blog, is going to take a slightly different format uh, for the next couple of weeks. But uh, today we start with the Carnival Cups and um, the Forbes Harness Racing Club. Uh, the team up there put in a good effort last Sunday, but uh, tonight all attention will be on Dubbo. Um, uh, running in conjunction with the Dubbo show, this this meeting tonight um, is, is something special. So... Anybody that hasn't made up their mind yet, they should be certainly heading to Dubbo Showground, watching a fabulous 10-race program, and if not, watching it on uh, Sky Channel. But um, always, uh, these clubs do their very best, and, and this is an excellent effort by the Dubbo Harness Racing Club. As mentioned last week, uh, the Inter-Dominion Trotters will be returning to New South Wales, albeit in 2020, but um, I think that's a significant move for the improvement and the increasing in Trotters races here in New South Wales. Uh, Blake Fitzpatrick, Flora Robson and Troy Williams, they presented to um, the management of Harness Racing New South Wales what their strategy is for next year and what's great to see with that, their strategy from the last 12 months, 80% has either been completed or has commenced, um, so they'll keep moving forward. But Trotters races are to the fore, especially at Menangle, but um, they're looking to spread their wings further and increase increase the activity across the state. Um, of course, Harness Racing New South Wales, we see that there could be a great opportunity in actually um, uh, exporting our, our product to France, uh, albeit in vision. So um, the stronger the trotters' ranks, uh, the more income we can receive from wagering. And it, wouldn't it be nice if, if all the trainers, especially in the metropolitan area, had an interest in a trotter? Uh, the biggest stables, I can't see why, with the uh, prize money on offer, that uh, they don't have a horse and, and the others, they could dabble as well. So um, just remember that trotting, trotting in New South Wales is, is strong and getting stronger and uh, I encourage everyone to be part of it. Good to see Can kick a target win last week for Brett Hutchings. It was Brett's first uh, Metropolitan winner as a trainer. Well driven by Davey Morris at, there at Tabcourt Parkman Angle. Uh, Brett's the hard working uh, track curator at Parks. Um, we've got a lot of track curators out there that do, do their very best to present tracks in, in good order for horses to race on. But uh, for Brett, uh, well done on your efforts at Parks and extremely uh, congratulations on your win with Can kick a target at Menangle. As we're all experiencing, the drought conditions here in New South Wales and of course across um, a good deal of Australia is really going to affect us in the coming months. And with the breeding season um, fast approaching um, this week and uh, in the next couple of weeks coming, uh, I'll be um, going out to talk to breeders, uh, when I say breeders, those people who operate the studs and, and the breeding nurseries to uh, seek feedback of how harness racing New South Wales may be able to um, assist um, to keep um, people breeding in this, this, these tough conditions. Um, it's encouraging to note that the number of foals registered this year are greater than the number of the previous year. So um, breeding in New South Wales is on the rise, but um, the point of the whole exercise is to, to sustain the breeding and keep it going forward. Um, I was at Yirribi uh, early in the week, and it was great to see that um, uh, their horse, one of their horses, Tin Tin America, has a real star in the United States. That real star is Sha Tin N. The mayor won the Sam Noble Memorial Pace in 1.49.3, which was a stakes record, a track record, a national season mark for the division of older mares. Um, she's done a wonderful job um, winning that race at um, Miami Valley Raceway, and um, she'll go on to far more better things in America. So um, the sire, Tin Tin in America, will be standing again this year at Yeribe Pacing Stud. So, um, you know, breed breed to the Colonial Stallions, breed to the New South Wales Bay Stallions, breed to all the stallions that are Alabar, New South Wales Breeders Challenge eligible and uh, be part of what's on offer here in New South Wales. Uh, our schemes are as good as any other schemes in Australia or New Zealand and uh, as I said, uh, we, we'll be looking at uh, how we can sustain the breeding numbers which have improved over the next two years and especially with, with a bit of a round the state survey which I'll be carrying out in the coming weeks.